Welcome to this tutorial to give you an overview of SurveyMaker. In this tutorial, we are going to cover the main screen layout. Let's have a look at the overall layout of the SurveyMaker screen. On top of the main screen, the program name and if it is 32 or 64 bit, the version number and the hard lock key or soft lock key number. If you drop down one level, you will get to our main menu. Each button got its own drop down with more options. We will cover this in another clip with more detail. Another level down, we have our manipulate plot, zoom and display buttons, as well as the snap modes, ID elements, display and CAD line and text attributes. On the left of the screen, we have the general calculations, cadastral calculations, CAD tools, transformations and DTM tool shortcuts. On the bottom of the screen, two tabs that toggle between the main screen graphics and results. The most bottom indicates the active snap mode with the cursor coordinates or snap code and project name with its file path. When you open some calculations, the most right of the screen indicates the open calculation pads. Toggle the tabs at the bottom to switch between the calculations. I can now also hide the calculations pad by clicking on the arrow pointing right and it will hide the calculations pad without closing the function I was busy with. To recall it, just touch your mouse on the right hand side of the screen and it recalls the calculation pad and you can continue calculating. To close the calculation pad, the cross will close each single function and you just keep on pressing it until all the functions are closed. That's the layout of SurveyMaker, let's look a bit deeper. The main screen when you open the program. The display on the main CAD screen consists of CAD and DTM points. The CAD can be drawn with the SurveyMaker CAD functions. or imported from ModelMaker CAD with a KCD file or from CAD packages with a DWG DXF DGN file. The DTM are typed into the program or imported from an instrument or ASCII files. Single points can be added with points add on the graphics screen. All loaded from project import points. or in the dataset, file and then choosing the file type to open. The dataset allows you to have all your survey data in one place and are used to order your data in different datasets. The information you draw or import on the main CAD screen are linked to the active dataset. You can have complete separate datasets consisting of both CAD and DTM. Toggle between the active dataset at these two places. Only the active dataset can be viewed and edited. The one dataset can be coordinates typed in the data function from a diagram or paper and the other dataset based on survey points imported into SurveyMaker. Let's look at the cadastral function. F6 the urban file tool. With this tool we set up the urban file that contains the data we need for the cadastral or sectional title function. In here we define our main figure, urban, sections, block corners etc. Cadastral plan. Once the urban file is finished we load the urban file in the cadastral function and create the figures of the urban file based on the preset template. F8 sectional title works the same as the cadastral but with its own unique urban file. In the cadastral function you can create your figure using information from the urban file used for diagrams, 
general plans, etc. Or the active data set, CAD and DTM. Or both of them. A working plan does not need the urban file to create the drawing. You get the information from the main CAD and data set. You can import additional CAD and DTM from the main screen and add it to your urban file data set. Both the urban file and cadastral window can stay open together with the main CAD screen. And you can use them on multiple screens. Have a look at these links for additional training clips on the topics as discussed in this training clip.